There are quite a few reasons why your movement motors might not work. Um, some of these are pretty obvious, but I hope they don't insult your intelligence. But uh, as you can see, movement motors opposite, go in opposite directions actually. One goes uh, clockwise and one goes anti-clockwise to make the car or whatever you're making go forwards and backwards. So one thing that's quite common is that kids join the motors together. I don't know why they do this, but they think they could put an axle in the middle. So check the motors aren't connected. That's the first thing I check. It's pretty silly, I know, but it happens. Another reason is that um, the motors might be of different sizes, would you believe? So make sure the kids have got two motors of the same size because if they're different sizes, they're not gonna work. But probably the most common mistake is in the coding. So often they'll select uh, different letters in the movement motors than they're actually connected. So make sure you check which motors are connected to the robot in what ports and then do the same ports on the coding. Um, sometimes their letters are mixed up. Another, re another, thing that, another reason why it doesn't work is that sometimes they have the, the uh, set movement motors isn't the first command in that stack. It has to be the first command so it knows which motors are moving. So make sure that the very first block says set movement motors. And another thing kids do is that they often have the same letter selected for a different motor. So just make sure that if they're using an extra motor that it's not one of the ones already used in the movement block. Sometimes the kids will uh, try and run a program which is different to the one they've actually coded. So they might choose number one on the block and they're running it and it's not working. It's because they've actually coded in slot zero on the iPad. So you might need to scroll across and run that code. But even then it might not work because the kids haven't actually updated the code. So they might need to uh, download the code. So make sure that the kids have downloaded the latest version of their code or you could try the streaming. But if, it, if they press play or download, then the hub will be updated with their latest bit of coding. It's a lot of these sound obvious, but that's just the way it is. There's so many little errors that can happen with motors not working. The hub might be actually too full uh, of files or whatever. So I go through sometimes and manage the programs on the app and delete all the excess files that are there. That might free up a bit of memory. But a more physical problem is that sometimes um, I think that these little clips, uh, they're useful, but I, I, can't, I feel like I'm damaging the cable every time I use them. So make sure your cables are nice and flat and that they haven't been too twisted and uh, get the kids to look after the motors. Make sure that they don't get uh, mistreated or, you know, even some kids like to swing them around and that sort of thing. So just be careful that the kids treat the motors properly. The little connectors can get a little bit grubby. You can see this picture here, they're a little bit grubby. So believe it or not, I use an electric toothbrush with a brand new brush, mind you. It has to be a brand new brush. Uh, it's never been used and uh, I can scrub a little bit of the grit and grime away from the actual connectors. Here's some other ideas though. Make sure your hub is completely up to date. Plug it into a computer or laptop and you'll see if it's up to date or not and you might need to update it. Or you could even just try updating or reinstalling your app to make sure that it's the latest version so everything's running as well as it can. Look, honestly, just try some different motors. If you try some different motors and they work, then it's actually your motors are just carked it and you might need to replace them. That happens sometimes. Or when in doubt, turn it off and on again. <laughs> that uh, seems to solve 9 out of 10 problems. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please like and subscribe.